My name is Miss Multiconso and welcome back finally to Biobabs Mausoleum. This is the first episode. The second episode of this game has now come out but I just haven't gotten around to playing it. I've actually been sent it. The developers have sent me the second episode as well. So once we get through this we will definitely be starting on episode two. I just need to find time to play everything that I've got going on right now. But anyway at the moment if you guys remember we fell down a toilet and I'm currently looking for some pesky little beavers that we're playing hide and seek with. Well this is a nice recap for those of you who may have forgot what happened last time because it has been a while since I recorded or played any of this. For those of you who don't know a quick recap this is a game about a eggplant he's a detective eggplant and he wound up in a very strange location after he was driving somewhere and then he crashed into some kind of mutant deer or something and he wound up in this really strange place and all he's trying to do is get home. You, he who dares to wake the four diabolical coloured beavers, we know your intentions. Beavers? More like rats, stinky ones. Watch your language, dirty vegetable. Beat to the legendary trial of hide and seek and we will give you a reward. Okay, here we go. So we've got to find all four of these beavers now. Finally, I've got back to the point where we left off, so hopefully I can go and find the beavers. I gotta say, jumping over the, over those little platforms to get this shovel was definitely not as bad this time. It's the golden flamingo, I need to find a way to catch it. Why do you wanna capture this flamingo anyway? Like, what is the point? I don't know. So maybe we can find these beavers. Hey, I see one over there. I see you, I see you. You make me sick. <laughs> what, because I found you? What a sore loser you are. Okay, let's see if we can find the rest of these pesky, stupid beavers. Oh, I think I see one. Is that one right over there? Oh my God, I think I see one right over there. That is some good spot and I can't believe I saw that from all the way over there. I gotta go round, I think. Oh no, it's not, it's a cow. Ah. Oh. I got my hopes up. Those are some freaky looking cows, aren't they? They are so creepy looking. Why do they look so creepy? Oh, there's another one. We found another one. Awesome. Hey, that's not fair. Life isn't fair, I'm afraid. <laughs> Deal with it, you stupid beaver. All right, let's keep going. There's got to be some more around here. Doesn't it look like the trees? They, they follow you. That's super creepy. I did not notice that before. That is so creepy. Hello beaver, cheat, you're a cheat. Okay, we've got one more to find. This isn't as bad, actually. I thought this looked quite daunting at first, but yeah, I'm finding them pretty easily now, so that's good. We just got one more to find. I'm reckoning it's gonna be somewhere near the entrance because we haven't found a single beaver near the entrance yet. Can you see how like the log is there and then you move close and it disappears? One minute it's there, one minute it disappears. I guess it's got some kind of problems with the graphics here. But never mind, it's still an interesting game. I find this game like so peculiar. It's interesting. Here we go. Found the last one. You idiot! How did you do it? With my master finding skills. You are a de genius in the hide and seek game. Thank you, thank you. I also got achievement called finding the beavers, but I don't think it will show up on the video because of my settings. So never mind. All right, let's go inside and see what they give us. As you are so good at hide and seek, we will give you your prize. Yay, come on you rats, cut the crap and give me that stupid prize. What's our prize? Here you have it, eggplant. Take good care of it, and whatever you do, don't catch the legendary gold flamingo. That's obviously what we have to do next, then. Oh my god, we get a gun? Nice. You found a hunting shotgun. <laughs> wow, that poor golden flamingo. I feel sorry for the little dude. All right, let's go and find him. There he is, he's over there. Poor little thing. Okay, so if we click on him, time to murder some rare flamingos oh that poor thing i feel sorry for it press the in interaction button three two one aim fire poor thing he was just minding his own business chilling out and then we come along and murder him he was rare as well he was a rare flamingo what are we like what's that massive orange thing i've always wondered what that was what did that say i wasn't paying attention i didn't even read what it said damn it what am i doing with this oh damn i didn't read it <laughs> what did it say 
I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, oh wait, I remember, wait, I vaguely remember the guy outside this house saying that he wanted a flamingo, right? I think it was something to do with that. God, I can't, re can't believe I remembered that. That was such a long time ago as well. All right, let's go and see if he says anything to us. If we go and speak to him, here he is. He looks like he's made out of paper, but it's fine. Thank you, Mr. Eggplant. My wife will finally be able to eat. She's been years without eating. <laughs> but couldn't we have just killed a normal flamingo? Why did we have to kill the rare golden one? Come in to make yourself comfortable. But be careful. My wife has a very bad case of the fleas. Ew. Really? Alright. Do we really have to go and eat with your wife? Why? Can't I just... Alright, let's go in. Here we go. Oh, it, the the graphics have changed back to the old school style. I like this style so much better. Although it was quite interesting to have a, a change of pace there. What are these weird slug snaily things? Zook! I would leave it open. What? You don't even make sense. Snail number five. Is this snail number four? Yes. Oh, I would leave it half open. What? Are these hints on something? This might be a hint on something, maybe. I don't know. What does this guy... Oh no, I was trying to talk to the guy... The sleeper... The, he's sleeping, isn't he? I think he's sleeping. I don't actually think we can speak to him. Oh, okay, I think he's asleep. Alright, looks like there's a hamburger and some ketchup and mustard on the table. Looks nice. Alright, snail number one. Grrr! I would leave it open. These snails look so evil. How could you make snails look so evil? They're really creeping me out. I feel like they're going to eat me any second. I've never been scared of snails before. This is the fir this is the first. Actually saying that. I've got to say, I was really creeped out by snails when I... No, slugs. When I watched um, an Ito Junji episode. It's a horror anime and it's really creepy. There's this part in it with slugs and it's super creepy. Three! I would leave it closed. What are you creeping me out, man? What are you even talking about? There must be a hint of something. Wing! I would leave it half open. Right. So there's like two that said open and one or two that said close or something. I think it's the amount of people who say close and open or something. Oh my god, this person looks creepy as well. Look at that. It's got no teeth. It's got red bits in their eyes. Oh god, no. Damn limb burger. Always hacking around. What? What is going on? Oh, I'm so confused. I don't understand. What is going on? What would you leave half open? <laughs> is this his wife? This is his wife with fleas. Because that is creepy. Why do they have snails walking around in their house? That is super unhygienic. What are we meant to be doing? I'm really confused right now. It looks like there's some beavers in the garden as well. Oh, hang on. What's this? I see something. What's this? It's a... Jayco Bendo 66. I'd love to play a game, but there doesn't seem to be a game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it? All right, so what do I... I'm not sure. This must be a hint somewhere else. I'm guessing it's not in the house. Maybe it's outside or something. Okay, we can't leave, so it's got to be somewhere in here, but I've no idea what. I'm thinking that it's that, like, there looks like there's a kind of trap door here. Looks like something has been dragged out of it. But, like, I can't actually click on it. No, no, what's this? Oh, hang on. You have seen all the tracks of the game. Scene view. What is this? Why does everything have to look creepy and have eyeballs? Are these eggplants? Oh, my God. I have heard about purple bananas. Oh, God, they look like eggplants. Apparently, they're great for the intestinal flora. Okay. All right. And the creepy strawberries. These tomato- oh, tomatoes. <laughs> I'm like completely wrong with everything in here. They remind me of one of my first cases where I had to face some killer tomatoes. I would like to see that. Alright, what's this? Eggs? These eggs are kind of weird. Yeah, you're telling me. At least I got that one right. Eyeballs. They look like pig's eyes. Very nutritious, according to some recent studies. Lovely. Alright, and the safe. Ah, oh, this must be what they were talking about. A safe. It seems to hold something important. But it's closed. There must be some. Com there must be a combination. Right. This is what the snails were talking about. Look at all these eyeballs. I feel like I'm being watched. 
Oh, so it's about how, how many eyeballs to keep open. I see, I understand. Okay, right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna go and speak to the snails and see how many say what. So this snail number two, I would leave it half open. Let's go to number one then. So if we start from number one, it's gonna tell us what to do with the first eyeball. I believe that's how it works. I would leave it open. Okay, so the first eyeball is open. Number one is open. Number four is half open. Number one is open, number four is half open. Okay, number one is open, number four is half open. Wait, no, this is number one. This is number one is open. What number was this one? This was number two, wasn't it? This was number, oh, this is number five. I'm getting confused. Number five is open, number one is open, and number four is half open. So number four is half open, okay. Number three is closed. Number four is half open, number three is closed, and number two is half open. I think that's it. Yes, I got it, there we go, there we go. Awesome, what did I get? You have found a game. Oh, nice, a game within a game. Let's see what kind of game this is. Let's do it. It's going to be funny. I'm going to turn on the console and put in the cartridge. According to knivelocalto.com, it's a great game. I wonder if that's actually a website. Colto.com. Is it cult? <laughs> it's creepy. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, this must be a really old game system. A mutant meat city. Oh my god. Let's look at the controls. 2014. Let's see what this is. Someone has stolen Rob Render's VHS tape collection. Help him by driving, avoiding the Turobosauruses who want to kill you. Use WS to move and avoid the Turobosaurus. The maximum score is 1950. Try to beat it. Okay, this sounds weird. What the hell is the tur tur Turobosaurus? What the hell is that? So we're on a bicycle. Oh my god, this is so old school. Okay. Is there a way to shoot? It didn't say. I think we just got to dodge, haven't we? I believe that's what we're doing, just dodging. I just moved the arrow keys up and down. Oh, right, yes. We just got to collect the tapes and dodge the the dinosaurs. I guess they're dinosaurs. Okay, they look like they got police. They are police dinosaurs. It's funny. Okay, let's go up and get this. This is so easy, though. Like, isn't there going to be some kind of challenge? Oh, I got hit there. Okay, I'm failing a little bit here. I can't collect every single one. There's so many here. Oh, it's getting faster. I see. I see what we're supposed to be doing here. High score is 950. I've got 950. You have passed the world record of the mini game. Seriously? That was really easy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Okay. All right, now we've done that. What? Oh no, the creepy wife's coming towards us. Run away. Crap. I hid the game so Limburger would stop lounging around and get to work. What's wrong, lady? For now, I'll leave it in its place. You also beat my high score. I'll show you. I'm going to turn you into meat for my snails. Oh God. We're not meat, we're vegetables. <laughs> we're a vegetable. No. Oh no, that's what's down in the cellar. Things that she's kidnapped and murdered for her snails. Oh my god, there's man-eating snails down in, in this room. That's creepy. Meanwhile, in outer space? What? <laughs> Why are we in outer space? <laughs> Why is there a space chicken? <laughs> oh my god, that's weird. Is it an airship? What a weird game. What a weird game. It's so funny. Oh, it just laid an egg. Yeah, because that happens. <laughs> it's going to land on there and it's going to destroy everything. <laughs> land on Earth. Be like a meteorite. Okay, Act 6. Ah, eggs from the moon. Right, okay. Where are we? Chico Luna. Blurp. Logbook. The environment is suffocating. I think these people breathe oxygen. Blurp. They sound like a robot. I kind of feel, feel like they should be a robot. Blurp. Current mission. I will look for the invoker. Blurp. He will give me the instructions to complete the mission. Blurp. 
All right, so we're this weird moon thing. We're like some kind of weird chicken alien. <laughs> What's going on? What is happening? I'm so confused. Okay, this thing looks so weird as well. This game just gets weirder and weirder the more you progress. It's so awesome. What is this? You are in the viewpoint of the plastic meteorite. Okay. Plastic meteorite. Can I look through the telescope then and see what is going on? See if we can find this meteorite. Is this what we're... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I didn't mean to do that. All right, keep looking. Keep looking. I see a house. What's in the house? Wait, there's two houses. There is a big, massive... Oh, hello. What is that? There was so there's something in the top. That's creepy. What is that? What the hell is that staring at us? It's an alien! Find the girl with the red earrings and bring her with us. What? Why? Why are we doing this? What is going on here? I have no idea. Alright. <laughs> this game is so unexpected all the time. Blurp! Updated mission. Look for and find the girl with the red earrings. Blurp! Okay. And why exactly are we looking for this girl? Should I just not ask? Should I just accept and just move on? I wanted to speak to those people on the bench, but I didn't know how to get over there. Oh God, what's going on now? What is this? Oh, is this? Oh, I think this is us falling down the cellar. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh God, it looks creepy down here. What are those? Are those candles? Oh God, oh God that looked like it hurt. Oh, I think I just lost all my gems. No, my gems. I collected so many of those. Okay, let's keep collecting these things. Act 7. The walrus... What? I can't read it in time. It disappears so much. The walrus pictures. Hey, look, there's a giant walrus. Hello, friend. Don't tell me you're going to eat me. Welcome to the terrifying walrus movie theatre. Today on show... Killer Asylum Free. Damn it! It seems like there is an anti-cheat system in the game. Look in the back of your game cover or maybe it is on some website related to the game. What? I don't have a game cover. What are you... What is going on here? What am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. I've tried like loads of different combinations but I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I looked online for the answer. I have no idea what this puzzle even was, but apparently this is the code, so let's go with that. I am I was thinking maybe it was like the number of candles that there were or something, but I'm not actually sure. It just kind of gave us that puzzle randomly. I was thinking like maybe it was something to do with these candles or something. I have honestly no idea. I don't really know what that puzzle was about. It just confused me more than anything. It just chucked a puzzle at me and I had no idea what it was talking about. So hey, let's go inside of the walrus and see what's going on in here. This is going to be weird, isn't it? I just know it. Okay, here we go. We're in a disco. The Zork and the Wendigo. Okay, this looks really interesting i can't wait to find out what's going on here we got some weird duck thing with a pocket watch i don't know anyway i'm going to stop the episode here for now thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time